Hey everybody, and today's video brings us out to Shamung, New Jersey, if I'm saying that correctly. I could possibly be saying that wrong. If I am, by all means, leave a comment down below. But the reason why we're out here today is to check out something kind of sad, but also kind of amazing, a memorial, if you will. We are here at the Mighty Joe's Deli and Grill. This is pretty awesome. It's a gas station slash convenience store slash deli and grill, and apparently a quick shot paintball range as well. Lots of people out here playing paintball. But the reason why we're out here today has nothing really to do with the paintball. It has to do with Mighty Joe's Deli and Grill and who Mighty Joe is actually named after. This is pretty awesome. I love this kind of stuff. You guys know, again, how much I love roadside attractions, roadside oddities, just weird, bizarre things, especially giant, weird, bizarre things. And I love it when people take it upon themselves to save these things because all the time stuff gets torn down, roadside attractions, roadside oddities, really cool, interesting stuff just gets put to the, the wayside and just falls into disrepair and eventually gets thrown away, ends up in a landfill somewhere. But every now and then somebody takes it upon themselves to save these things. And this thing we're going to see today was absolutely saved and for a pretty amazing reason also. So there's definitely something I want to show you guys out here today that's actually really Really awesome, again, here in Shamung, New Jersey, if I'm not mistaken. So Mighty Joe's Deli and Grill is actually named after the owner's son. Their son, who is nicknamed Mighty Joe, is a bodybuilder. And sadly, in 1999, he actually passed away from a brain tumor. Very, very sad. Unfortunately, that is what, what ended up happening. But again, the, to, to pay respect to their son, they named the actual gas station and deli and grill the convenience store mighty joe's after their son's nickname their bodybuilder son's nickname who again did pass away in 1999 and something was done besides that to commemorate their son which is really really neat and again that's the reason why i'm bringing you guys out here today what i'm actually showing you guys today here at this gas station where you can't actually pump your own gas. If I'm not mistaken, I want to say New Jersey, I think, is actually the last state in all of the United States where they don't actually allow you to pump your own gas. Why that is, I have no idea. I'm not entirely sure what the thought process behind not being able to pump your own gas is. If you guys know, leave a comment down below. Also, I think it's starting to rain, which is kind of weird. It's actually quite sunny out, but I'm feeling raindrops on me. So I guess we'll have to hurry this video up before it possibly starts to pour. There's a really interesting looking muscle car, very loud muscle car pulling up here to get gas, to, to put gas in this car that he can't actually pump himself. Unfortunately, see, he's, at, he's mad. He's revving his engine. He's angry. He's like, I want to pump my own gas. He's probably from Pennsylvania or a state that allows you to put your own gas into your car and not have to sit there and wait for somebody to come out and put gas in their car for you and they have to wait to pay them. Anyway, we're not here to talk about gas. That's not the reason why we're here today. We are here to talk about what is directly in front of us. This is amazing. Meet Mighty Joe the Gorilla. Look at this. How amazing is that? Not nearly as amazing as the brake retarders on that on that truck, but still pretty amazing nevertheless. Hello, my name is Mighty Joe. I have been placed here by the Valen Valencio, if I'm saying that correctly, family as a memorial and to pay tribute to their son, Joseph, who now lives in the kingdom of heaven. Joe was a big part of his family's business and he was also a bodybuilder and won many awards. He was called Mighty Joe at times by his family and friends. Joe was not only mighty in his appearance, but also in courage, spirit, and love of family. Joe was truly missed by his family and friends, but not forgotten. And this, and, and he is always in their thoughts and prayers. My job is to look up to heaven from time to time and say, hey, Joe, we all, will always miss you. And to welcome you to our family business. God bless you all and thank you for coming to see me, Mighty Joe. And there's a picture, two pictures of Joe right there, the bodybuilder. And this is the giant gorilla to pay memorial to Mighty Joe, which is totally awesome, totally cool. So this actually originally apparently used to stand at a golf course, a miniature golf course back in Wildwood, New Jersey. That's where this originally was from. Then at some point, 
it actually ended up at a go-kart track and from there started to fall into disrepair. I've actually read up on this a little bit and supposedly other people out there who are big into roadside attractions and roadside oddities and big giant fiberglass, I'm pretty sure that's made out of fiberglass, big giant fiberglass gorillas and stuff like that. People who love the weird and the bizarre like I do, they apparently used to find him at the go-kart track and he started to fall into disrepair, started to, his, his, apparently his, his legs had like crumbled and buckled, apparently his ankles had completely like collapsed and he was sort of down on the ground. I've seen photos of him at the actual go-kart track and he was not looking good. He was not in very good condition. He was definitely hunched over. His, again, his like complete ankles were completely crushed and he was just face first into the ground. So the family, there's the car again. He got his, he got, he got his gas. So the family, had seen this every time they drove down to their to their beach house in Wildwood, New Jersey. They would see this gorilla off to the side, and they thought to themselves, "We should save that gorilla. We should see if they'll actually sell it to us." And apparently, the wife was like, "They're never, ever, ever going to sell you that gorilla. Why are you even asking about it?" But the husband said, "No, I'm going to find out. I'm going to take it upon myself to contact the owners of this property, contact the owner of this gorilla, and see if maybe, possibly." they'll sell it to me. And supposedly, they actually had a lot of very high bids for this. There's a lot of people willing to pay a lot of money to take this gorilla, fix it up. That guy's very proud of his car. A lot of people, oh my gosh, that is a very loud vehicle. So a lot of people were willing to pay a lot of money to take this gorilla and fix him up and put him in their gas station, well, maybe, maybe their gas station or in their the roads had attraction or use them for whatever reason, put them in their, their miniature golf course, whatever reason they wanted to, to buy this. They were willing to pay quite a lot of money. But when the husband, the husband of Joe actually asked, you know, can I, can I buy this? Can I purchase this gorilla? Supposedly they said, you know what? You're, you're purchasing this for such a good reason that we're just gonna say, forget all the higher offers. We're gonna accept your offer and we're going to sell this gorilla to you and then they had to figure out how exactly to ship it here from what i was reading apparently it was actually almost stolen apparently somebody after they had paid for it somebody showed up with a truck and tried to actually steal the giant gorilla thankfully it wasn't stolen and the Valenzio, if i'm saying that correctly family actually was able to get the gorilla that they had paid for that they wanted to fix up and put here on display at their gas station slash deli Pretty awesome, it's pretty cool. And today, it stands here. It's been here since 2004. Apparently, it's, it took them a lot of money to actually get this back, refurbished, looking how it looks today. Supposedly, from what I was reading, it took them a lot more money to actually fix this up than it did for them to actually buy this, which is pretty crazy. And supposedly, this was originally built in Spain from what I was also reading, which is pretty nuts. So this is cool. Mighty Joe, the giant gorilla. So awesome. Buy America. The job you save could be your own. Again, this is just too cool. Giant fiberglass, at least I'm assuming, probably, most likely, giant fiberglass gorilla. Maybe if you know what exactly it's made out of, leave a comment down below. But I mean, this is just too cool. I got somebody who lo loves weird, giant roadside things. I have been fascinated by this ever since I first saw it a couple of years ago. Every now and then I drive down this road, usually coming from the flea market, the Columbus flea market, driving down to the beaches, I see this giant gorilla, and I've pulled over to take a picture of this a couple of times. And I had to actually document this and show this to you guys, because who knows, this has been around the block a few times. It was at a, at a golf course, and then it was at a, a, uh, a go-kart track, and now it's here at a gas station. Who knows, maybe somewhere down the line, this could end up somewhere else. You never know, this, this giant gorilla could find himself somewhere else someday, or maybe, sadly, maybe it'll fall into disrepair as well, and in years from now, it won't be here anymore. Maybe maybe it will eventually get thrown into a dump. I hope that's not the case. I hope this is always, always around, whether it's here at the gas station, paying respect to Mighty Joe, or if it just ends up somewhere else, probably displayed for people to see. I hope it's always around. But regardless, I wanted to document this for you guys and show this to you guys because it's really, really awesome and really neat. If you've actually ever been out here to take a look at the Mighty Joe, leave your comments down below. If you've stopped at this gas station, even if not to get gas, 
or get something from the deli or the convenience store. I'm not here to get food. I'm not here to get gas. I got plenty of gas in Vanabelle right now. I just ate lunch. I don't need food, but I have pulled over here many a times. I've never actually gotten gas or gotten food at this deli. Maybe, maybe I should get some food here. Maybe I should actually give them some patronage and actually buy something. Maybe I'll go in there and buy a soda or something. I could actually go for a drink right now. That's probably what I'll do. I'll probably go in there and buy myself a soda, give them some money because again, we're buying, we're buying American. We're saving some jobs, a job that could possibly be my own. But anyway, so what was I trying to say? I'm trying to say, I hope this is always around. And this is always here. And whether you're pulling over to get gas, to get something from the deli, or just to see Mighty Joe, leave your comments down below. I have always pulled over just to see Mighty Joe. And I had to pull over once again today to show this to you guys because it's so awesome and it's so cool. But all right, I'm gonna let you guys go now. Like I said, leave comments down below if you've ever seen this or if you've ever pulled over to actually check this out. I wanna hear about you and your adventures with the Mighty Joe. That is too awesome, it is too amazing. Look at how big this thing is. It's huge, it is gigantic. Huge, giant gorilla, King Kong. Mighty Joe right there, but all right, I'm gonna let you guys go. So as always guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button. Whoa, what's going on? What's up? Oh no, I'm good, I'm, I'm just videoing it. I'm, I'm, show, I'm showing this off to everybody, it's so awesome, it's so cool. <laughs> that guy was nice, he was singing today. But I wanted to get my photo taken with, with Mighty Joe. That was very, very nice of him. But anyway guys, so like I said, that's gonna do it. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest out t-shirts. Proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon, to help supporting the show and keeping the show going, bringing us out to awesome places like this to see giant gorillas, giant roadside gorillas. So, all right, guys, I really do appreciate all your help. So like I said, check down below for links to Patreon, all that stuff. And also, you should hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you in tomorrow's video. And if you watch this video all the way to the very end, what should today's hashtag be? I'm going to say hashtag we love Mighty Joe. That's what I want the hashtag to be. We love Mighty Joe. Awesome, guys. So cool. All right. I will see you guys in the next video. Like I said, thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Because if you do hit that subscribe button, then I am going to see you in tomorrow's video. All right. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.